Hello everyone. So, I'm going to be playing Killer is Dead. This will be probably the next lengthy playthrough of a game. Uh, about 13 chapters I believe. Um, one thing I will say before starting is expect um, bitrate fuckery. That's what I'm going to call <laughs> uh, Basically, uh, well I might as well just get into it. So I'm going to start a new game and I'm going to do you wish to do it? Yeah, so I played this game quite a while ago. I played it like in 2017 or 16 or something like that. And cloud saving on Steam has kept my save from all that time. But I do wish to start a new game. I am going to play on normal because hard and very hard are just bullshit difficulties where they just increase the uh, enemy health and all that sort of stuff. And it's just boring. Uh, uh, I've tried it before. Not really that fun. Not gonna be, be not too bothered about not doing that. So yeah, we'll just play. I am playing with controller because even though there's like mouse aiming in this game, I think it's sort of like a smooth mouse aiming, like it emulates analog movement. Don't quote me on that. I, I just seem to rem recall that being a thing. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll start the game. Also, one other thing to note before I start: this is on this is a 30 FPS game. You can play it at 60 but it fucks around with the physics and all that sort of stuff, so I can't be bothered with any of that. So just expect janky sort of stuff, and the video that I'm recording is 60fps as well. So yeah, with all that out of the way, we'll start the game. So if you don't know what this game is, this is actually... So this is made by Grasshopper Studios. Is that what they're called? Grasshopper something. It's made by... It's not made by Suda51, I think it's like, I think it's like, he's like creative lead or something on it or something like that. But yeah, so expect a lot of weirdness that you get with a Suda game. But this isn't actually a sequel to any game, so it's a standalone thing. So if you've ever heard of Killer7, it isn't related to Killer7, it's a standalone game. So you don't have to worry about spoilers of Killer7 if you haven't played Killer7. I'm expecting the bitrate to go a bit crazy already because the style of this game is so... It's like... Not... It is so shaded but it's, it's like... It just goes crazy with the, the style of it so I, I am expecting this to uh, go a bit mad. Honestly, it might even be unviewable <laughs> to be honest. So <laughs> Hopefully it's not unviewable at least. <laughs> I will say I do love the style of this game and I love the... I skipped, I kind of skipped over it where the when the episode's starting it, it shows the moon and stuff like that. Checkmate.
Alright, that's episode one done. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think this is actually episode one that's just been done here. Uh, one thing that's, um, I don't really want to talk to you in the cutscenes because it's just a bit mad. And I, I might talk to you in some of them when I'm like trying to work out what the hell's going on. But for the most part, I'll be staying silent during the cutscenes. Um, let's just see what... Uh, I think there's another chapter that goes directly into this, so I'll just continue with this the next chapter, because rather than have the first episode be six minutes long, we'll just go into the next one, so we'll go into Killer is Dead. Uh, I don't think Killer is Dead is, is a long chapter as well, so we'll just do this one as well. We'll do this one, and... Uh, well, obviously the first one I've already done, and then this one, and then we'll do like a chapter at a time sort of deal. Just so you can, um experience what the, what the game is going to be like and it also kind of helps me what the game is going to be like as well when I edit it later. <laughs> wake up. Mondo, wake up. Open your eyes. Slowly. It's time to get some work done. We've got prey that needs hunting. Can tell us a game of its time. I think this is a 2013 game. Mondo, you listening to me? Hey, give me a sec. I'm in the middle of something. It's time. Sorry, baby. I got a job to do. But afterwards, we'll pick up where we left off. I can't wait. I know. I won't be long. I promise. Go to my place. Mondo! Okay. I'll forgive you this time. Mika, spill your wine. Huh? What do you mean, sir? Spill your wine on the target. And please, make it look natural. Roger! Mondo, slow down. Well, I'm racing against the clock here. Every second counts. I spilled it! Did the target move? Yes! Good. Approaching the target. Leave the rest to me. The standard sort of tutorial level, Stan uh, standard sort of combat as well, I just press the X button to slice. But the good thing about this game is, I think, uh, it's not as deep as any uh, Devil May Cry game, so let's just put it that way to start off with. You can just probably mash the button to like win the game. But um, it incentivizes you keeping a high combat, uh, co combat, combo, because when you get it to like, 10, for example, that the speed of your attack goes up, and then when you get it to 20, I think it goes up even even more. Yeah, because I think I'm attacking way quicker now. But it's it's nowhere near as deep as uh, as um, Devil May Cry. Also, all this stuff, I'm not even reading it. <laughs> right, let's go through here. 
It is really basic though, it's, it's nowhere near as deep as Devil May Cry. Like, I'm, I'm just mashing the X button here and not really taking much thought into what I'm actually doing. Impressive. You new around here? I'm your replacement. I see. Are you saying I dropped the ball? Because I was under the impression that I executed every job perfectly. Haven't I, Brian? The boss isn't here. He's waiting at the table. He'd like to have a few words with you. Is that so? Oh, I'm glad. Good luck, kid. One day, you may have to walk this path too. And on this job, you always come face to face with darkness. That's why you gotta find a beacon of light that'll never succumb to it. Thank you. Those are words I won't forget. Right, so this is where the bitrate is going to go absolutely mad, no doubt. I can't wait to watch this. <laughs> I can't wait to watch this back. And, uh, so... How about a drink? Uh, I'll try and talk when they're not talking. Ryan, did I make a mistake? So... Yeah. By going against the state. That's evil, man. At least that's what I believed. So what that was was it was Tell um me. did you like witch time in this game? You if you played Bayonetta, the darkness. then it's just the witch time part. God, I wanted to I don't want I devoured okay, I'll just I'll just stop entirely. talking. <laughs> I've been enchanted by her beauty and her chaos. The still dark night. Everyone feels that way. It doesn't matter now. Watch out for that young kid. He's dangerous. Show him the right way. Yeah, I intend to. To the executioners, a toast. Cheers. Good wine. <laughs> a nineteen fifty vintage Burgundy. Brian. Was my life worthwhile? Everything in life is worthwhile. Never forget that. The killer is dead. Now, let the killing begin. There we go. That's episode two done. God, this is such a quick game, I'll be done in no time. Uh, I'm fairly sure from this point that the levels get a lot longer now, so they'll be like normal size levels, 
And then, I think there's a, normally a boss at the end of every level. I don't fully remember. Um, so, what, what basically happened was, is in this game when you dodge, and you dodge successfully and in good timing, you get basically witch time from Bayonetta. And it's not like witch time though, basically it, it slows down the time and then Mondo, the main character, will just run straight towards the enemy that you dodged and then you just spam the X button, as in on the Xbox controller the X button, or the square button on the PlayStation controller, um, to just attack. And then it'll just non-stop attack. I'm fully expecting the bitrate to be absolutely mental during those parts of the game, and you probably do it quite a lot in the game. Uh, just bear that in mind. Hopefully the rest of the game doesn't look too bad when I'm not doing that sort of stuff. Uh, it might even be an incentive not to do it, to be honest, but you have to dodge in the game, to be honest, because you'll just take damage for no reason. But yeah, let's... Um, Let's see what's happening next. I think I'll just go to the title, uh, to the uh, menu where you select the level. If it does, then I'll just end the episode here. Yeah. So next time we'll do episode three of Killer Is Dead. So I hope you join me for that one. See you next time.